Good morning, family. This is um, Miss Norma. Hello, hello, and welcome to my um, YouTube channel. Blessing and healing to all of us. Um, and I just want to say, and good morning, TikTok family as well. Amen. I just want to say, I'm not going to do a reading today. There's just been a burden on my heart um, about positive the different things that some of us are actually experiencing. And so this morning, I have the song, Were It Not For Grace. And I just want to read the lyrics to you. Uh, the version that I'm going to share in the reading is the version by uh, Larnell Harris. But I want us to feast upon the words this morning of this Beautiful song, Were It Not For Grace, but let us pray for us. Oh, good morning, Lord. Thank you so much for waking us up. And by your grace, Lord, clothed in our right minds, Father, I thank you for the strength, Lord, and the fortitude and the praise and the joy that you give to each and every one of us, Father. Lord, even though sometimes the plate is heavy, or full sitting in front of us, Lord. You always are there with us, and you tell us what we can eat or what we can just leave on the plate. Everything on our plate, Lord, is not to be ingested, Father, and you will lead, guide, and direct us. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless this time with my YouTube family, my TikTok family, Pinterest, X, wherever this video is going. And Lord, grant to each one of us the blessing that you have designed for each one of us today, individually, Lord, as well as collectively. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, family. Were it not for grace, it starts off with time, with time measured out my days. Life carried me along. In my soul, I yearned to follow God, but knew I'd never be so strong. I looked hard at this world to learn how heaven could be gained, just to end where I began, when human effort is all in vain. Were it not for grace, I can tell you where I'd be, wandering down some pointless road to nowhere, with my salvation up to me. I know how that would go, the battles I would face, forever running but losing the race, were it not for grace. So here is all my praise, expressed with all my heart, offered to the friend who took my place and ran a course I could not start. And when he saw in full just how much his love would cost, he still went the final mile between me and heaven, so I would not be lost. Amen. Were it not for grace, I can't tell you where I'd be, wandering down some pointless road to, to nowhere with my salvation up to me. I know how that would go, the battles I would face, forever running but losing the race, were it not for grace. Forever running but losing the race, were it not for grace. Amen. I truly, truly love the words to this song. And sometimes I know when my heart is full or my life is full and I'm feeling overwhelmed, with various situations that can come up in my life or even in yours life. Um, this song has brought me comfort and solace many times. So this morning, I just want to share with you, were it not for grace. I'm going to put the link in there and I hope that you listen to the song and wherever you are in your day, um, I don't know, but God knows. And this is what I have been impressed to share today rather than doing um, the reading, 
were it not for grace. Blessing and healing family to all of our land. By his grace, I will see you all on tomorrow. Have a blessed day. May you, Lord, just strengthen um, our family. So many things going on in the world. Some of it's personal, Lord, and some of it is global, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, for our fortitude and our strength and our grace. Lord, those individuals that have to make hard decisions today, Lord, be with them, Lord. Be with us all, Father. And Lord, especially be with us when we are suddenly find ourselves in circumstances that we had no idea would fall on our plate. Blessed and healing, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Were it not for grace. Amen. Blessing and healing family. Have a wonderful day. This is Miss Norma signing off. By his grace, I will see you all on tomorrow. Um, our next reading is for May the 24th. I love you, family. And remember that the greatest love of all is still and always the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.